Are your credit scores low because of a collection, a charge-off, a repossession, an eviction, maybe a bankruptcy, even late payments? Don't worry, I know where you've been, and I'm gonna show you how to use this letter plus the CFPB to knock out everything on your credit report once and for all. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. So in today's class, we're going to talk about how to use this letter right here, plus the CFPB to knock out everything on your credit report once and for all. So with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and go get you something to drink, because class is going to be a good one. Welcome to today's class. You know what time it is. We're going to talk about how to set these credit bureaus up, right? So step one, we're going to download our credit report. Step two, we're going to use a secret letter. Step three, we're going to come back and analyze. And step four, we're going to talk about how to use this knockout method to knock out everything that's on our credit report that's hurting our credit score, right? So with that being said, let's get into step number one. Step one, the first thing you want to do is download your credit report, right? You have to see what's going on, right? So there's two ways you can do this. The first way is getting it for a dollar, right? You're going to get a tri-merge credit report and see what's going on on your credit report. You're going to see line item by line item, and you're going to see all the discrepancies that's hurting your credit score. Now, the second way is going to be for free. However, you can go to annualcreditreport.com, and what that does is you'll be able to download all three credit reports. It won't be like the first one because it's a little bit different. However, it's free, and if you need it for free, I'm gonna show you how to get it. The link is in the description for free. Now that you have your credit report right in front of you, what you wanna do is look at the overview, right? This is the one for a dollar, so this is what you're gonna see. Now you're gonna look at the total accounts right here. You're gonna see the total accounts. You're gonna look at the um, open accounts. You're gonna look at the closed accounts. You're gonna look at the delinquent accounts. Now. Delinquent means accounts that are basically late payment status, right? Accounts that are um, late. Now, derogatory accounts are like collections, I mean, repossession, charge off. Those are your derogatory accounts, right? Now, your collections are your regular collection accounts. You just wanna see how many collections you have. Now, public records means um, bankruptcy, and then inquiries, we know what a hard inquiry is, right? So we just wanna see what's going on on our credit report. Now, once we identify what's going on on our credit report, we want to find every negative account that's on our credit report. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go, um, we're going to put a star by every account that's negative, right? Whether it's a derogatory status, whether it's a bankruptcy, whether it's a charge or repossession, we just want to put a star by it, right? Because we need the account name and we need the account number right here. So I'm gonna show you what to do on how to analyze it later, but I wanna show you what you gotta do first so we can go ahead and set the credit bureaus up to get these um, collections off our credit report. So here's what we're gonna do next, right? We're gonna take every negative account and we're gonna put it on the letter, right? You don't know how powerful this letter is, but it's very powerful because what you're doing is telling them to investigate every single information on this account, right? So what that does is they have to do their investigation. They have to do their due diligence. And I'm going to show you what an investigation is in according to the FCRA. And I already know that they violated because they didn't do a proper investigation. I'm going to show you what the word or the definition in the FCRA, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, what they're supposed to do versus what they're not doing. So you, what you want to do now is just go ahead and copy this. You're going to copy Midland Fund or whatever account that's on your credit report. And then you're just going to label it, right? You're just going to put the account name. Now, after you put the account name, you're just going to get the account number and the account number is right here. It doesn't matter if it looks like this. You don't need the whole account number. You just need um, just the numbers and whatever it shows, the stars or the X's, right? And then you're going to go ahead and do that. Now, you're going to do that for every account that's negative. I don't care if it's 10 accounts. I don't care if it's 15 accounts. I don't care if it's 20 accounts. Whatever, how many accounts that's holding your credit score back, you want to list every single account, right? We don't have time to waste, right? We're not going to wait and put five accounts and then wait five, I um, mean, wait a month later and put another five accounts and dispute another five accounts. No, no, list all the accounts. We're going to dispute every single account on your credit report that's holding your credit credit score back. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the next account, right? I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. And we're just going to do this for the same thing every single account we're going to list 
I don't care how many accounts you have, whatever is holding your credit score back, just grab it, right? A lot of people tell you, you only going to supposed to dispute one or two or three. Nah, we dispute in all the accounts. Oh snap, they can actually grab the whole thing. Let me see if I can get it back. So this is how you dispute. Don't stop listening to everybody. Just dispute everything because your time is very valuable. Now, after you list every single account, now what I want you to do is send this letter to all three credit bureaus, right? To Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And you're gonna send it certified, right? We're gonna send it certified with two forms of identification, right? One with the driver's license and with a um, proof of address, right? It could be a bill, utility bill. We're gonna send a proof of address, right? We're gonna take a picture of the whole bill and not just the envelope, right? So make sure you add two forms of identification or you can use your social security card or you can use your bank statement, whatever, which one you wanna use, you can use that one, right? Two forms of identification plus the letter to Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And we're gonna make sure we send it certified, right? Certified. Now, after you do that, we're gonna wait 30 days. We're gonna put a reminder in our phone, put a reminder in your phone, and we're gonna wait for the results to come back because I'm gonna show you how to properly knock out the credit bills after the results come back, right? So when the results come back, two things is gonna happen, right? Either the account got verified, properly verified, properly updated, or the account got removed, you know, that's good, right? So we're good. But if the account got verified, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna print off a new credit report, right? Because now you have results. And what you're gonna do is circle everything that's discrepant on your credit report, right? So you're gonna ask them, how was the account verified? How did you properly investigate it if the date open is not showing correct on all three credit reports, right? Also, we're gonna just go line on by line on, right? Last reported, I usually just do that. This one is totally different, right? Date last active, this one is totally different, right? And we're just gonna take a picture of all the discrepancies, right? Everything or upload it, just take a picture of each one or upload it, right? Or make, scan it and upload it to your um, to your email and then save it as a file. And I'm gonna show you what to do next. So now we just analyzed our credit report. Now it was time to knock out all the accounts on our credit report, right? So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna use what we call the CFPB A, my favorite thing. We're going to CFPB, right? Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, we're gonna submit a new complaint, right? Submit a new complaint. And then once that pop up, uh, I'm gonna start a new complaint. And once it pop up, here's what we're gonna do. Hey man, we're gonna get the credit bills. I mean, we're gonna get these accounts off our, um, our credit report, right? So credit reporting, credit reporting, right? And then we'll click on next. And then once everything else pops up, we're gonna use improper use, right? And then reporting company use your credit report improperly. They basically obtain by use for purposes that aren't allowed by the law, right? So go hit them with that. You wanna hit them with next. So here's how we gonna hit them we will knock them out on all types of laws, right? So bam, hey, we come and correct, right? So, and also, I'm just gonna read over it real quick. Let me see if I can um, zoom in so you can see it a little bit more. So the credit bureaus never did a proper investigation according to the FCRA, right? According to the FCRA, they didn't do a proper investigation. The term investigation consumer report means a consumer report or portion thereof in which information on a consumer's character, general reputation, personal characteristics, or mode of living is obtained through personal interviews with neighbors, friends, or associates of the consumer reported on or with others with whom he is acquainted or whom may have knowledge concerning any such items of information. So not only are they supposed to check every piece of information on the account and make sure it's reported correctly. However, they're supposed to do interviews. They're supposed to do all this right here. And I know they didn't do this. So, hey, this is a violation, right? They didn't do a proper investigation. Also, like I said, they didn't do this, all right? Also, they have violated my rights even more in accordance with the FCRA, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, right? 
everything has to be 100% accurate on my credit report, right? The credit bureau stated my account was properly investigated, but how is that possible if the open date is incorrect, the date last active is incorrect, and the date last report is not correct? That's, this is grounds for removal, right? Period. Now, after that, they also violated the law because according to 15 U.S.C. 16881 section 602A states I have the right to privacy. 15 U.S.C. 1681 section 604A section 2. It also states a consumer reporting agency cannot furnish an account without my written instruction and you didn't give nobody no written instruction, right? And you're going to put, I didn't give nobody no written instruction. I mean, written instruction. I did not give anybody written instructions. After you do that, what you want to do is say, um, delete accounts. And then you want to do is attach those documents, right? Attach all those uh, consumer reports, right? Um, your credit report that you basically highlight and circle and analyze, right? Everything you marked up, you're going to select the file and upload all that information. And you're going to click on next and do what you got to do and just fill out Experian, TransUnion. Hey, now you submitted your complaint. Here's what's going to happen next, right? Then the next 14 to 30 days, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax will respond back. They will close out the account. Doesn't mean it didn't work, right? It does not mean it didn't work. However, you should start seeing results um, a little bit later on after that because they have to do their due diligence. They have to respond to the CFPB. If they don't, they will get fined. So this is the reason why they um, closed the um, the sheet out. It doesn't mean that it didn't work. It just means that they're doing what they're supposed to do because if they don't, the CFPB is on day. So now if you need help, you can go ahead and schedule a free consultation with me and my team. We'll do the free credit audit. We'll do everything step by step for you. Not everything, but we'll do the free credit audit for you where we'll gather the audit and show you all the discrepancies that's on your credit report. Now, if you don't have time, you don't want to do none of that, hey, you can go ahead and let my team take over everything and we'll do everything for you and get those accounts knocked off your credit report. So I'll see you in the next class.